So for today, we're going to be looking at Warlocks. More specifically, we're going to be looking at the tactical sets. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Uh oh, let's let's talk about this first. Titans and Hunters, you guys have your video right here. Uh, a lot of cool sets in these videos. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I love these sets. They're some of my best sets that I've made for tactical sets. I've made some older tactical sets, which I didn't mention in the Titan or Hunter video. It's just that they're old and I wanted to remake some of the old sets that I made. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Warlocks more specifically you guys have it rough you guys don't have a lot of tactical pieces that are like overtly like oh this is tactical it's just it's pretty bad so let me know what you guys think i really appreciate you guys watching my content because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed you can do me a favor like comment sub really does help hit the bell notification if you guys want to keep up to date with my current content that was a bad segue but i appreciate y'all let's just get into it so to start off, I ended up going for Wildwood Robes. This one was kind of an easy choice considering Wildwood is one of the, like, not one of the most because we have one of the most chess pieces that are super tactical specifically, but this is a good tactical set. You have pouches, you have, uh, like, a scarf thing almost. You have even, like, wiring on your shoulders. I think this is a really good tactical set to go, for, for me at least. Um, for the exotic, this is where it gets kind of weird because we're using an exotic that's not really tactical at all, but I like the fact how it went with the chest piece, which is going to be necrotic grips with the chimera sting ornament. For the helmet, thunderhead cover was a choice that I made just because why not? And the boots is going to be the hold fast boots and the ossuary bond for the bond because it has a pouch. So yeah, this is like, it's not bad. I definitely like this set a lot. Would I use it? Probably not just because I have so many better Chimera Sting ornament looks that I have that this one would just wouldn't be one of them because it doesn't go to the Chimera Sting strength. Now you might be wondering, why did you go for Chimera Sting? Because uh, there's not a lot of tactical exotics or ornaments for the Warlocks. Uh, not a lot of like one off the top of my head that has like super tactical they have much more of a fantastical ornaments than tactical hunters are gonna have the most uh titans have a little bit and then warlocks you have like one or two maybe so expect exotics that are like kind of like why is that here because it doesn't look tactical you're gonna see that in the other two the next one i think is pretty self-explanatory for the shadering metro shift just because they don't want to fight the shader and honestly just really didn't want to fight shadering in this one as for the next set, we're going to be using rain of fire this one is such an easy choice when it comes to tactical sets and it's also a really good exotic for the helmet contend con cunning of the contender hood the crystal cream gloves for the arms dark age overcoat and then for the bond street scholar bond for the shadering vitrified duality so i definitely think the tacticalness of this is going to be the rain of fire and maybe the chest piece Everything else is just kind of like, I thought it looked cool. Well, no, the Crystal Cream Gloves definitely goes with this because the fur with the chest piece goes with it. But the helmet and the bond definitely do not help me at all. I definitely should have picked something else for the cunning of the contender hood, specifically the helmet and the street scholar bond. But at the same time, I didn't want to do the look that I made before, which was Brain of Fire with the Deep, Deep Explorer chest piece. I didn't want to do that combination again because A, I'm actually not the big fan of it because the boots are a little bit too small for that chest piece. And I wanted to see if I could do something cool with the Dark Age overcoat. I like where my head's going. I would just switch out the helmet and the bond, honestly, and maybe the shadering as well. So let me know what you guys think about this one. Speaking of Deep Explorer chest piece, we're going to be utilizing that one. So this one is interesting because I'm using almost damn near every piece that I use in, I think, uh, when the Deep Explorer or, 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 or when the Deep Explorer set came out, just that I'm using a different exotic, I think different boots as well. And I actually, I think everything's different aside from the arms now that I think about it. So for the exotic, we're going to be using Eye of Another World, one of my favorite helmets just because it looks really, really cool without the ornament, because if you guys don't know, it does have a really bitchin' ornament. Uh, for the arms, Tusted Legion gloves, I just think looks really cool with this set. For the boots, Street Scholar boots, and then for the Bond, Cunning of the Contender Bond. So for this one, I ended up going for Cryptic Insignia for everything but Jacarina. Jacarina, I ended up going for the Bond because... I like the fact that the Jacarina not only turned the band black, but it also has the glow blue, which is kind of the whole shtick of this. So 
I am not the biggest fan of the boots for this one. That being said, the reason I use it is because it has a lot of belts and clips and stuff. That just, for me, says a lot about tactical sets. But honestly, the chest piece is really pulling all of this together with the arms a little bit as well. But I definitely like this one. I would definitely go back to the drawing board with this one and try to find some pieces that are a little bit better. Because the Deep Explorer vestments, as much as I like them... If you wear uh, boots that are small, it kind of looks weird. So I definitely would want to combine it with boots that are kind of chunky. Um, and that's really it. I think the Bond, I could probably just switch out for something else. But overall, I don't have a problem with this set. And then last but not least, I ended up going for... This is, this is stretching for me. This is a stretch. But for me, I kind of thought, oh, this kind of, for me, feels like a Yeehaw Tactical which again i'm stretching so hard for this one but i like this set so much that i was like you know what fuck it it's it's fine uh to be fair i also just could not find a last like tactical set for you guys so i may be cheating a little bit considering when the shadow broker stuff came out i made this set and immediately fell in, fell in love with it and can you even blame me i look like an interstellar cowboy and it, it looks cool is what i'm trying to say so for the helmet tm moss custom hat is what we're using which is con funny considering if you've seen my <laughs> if you've seen my review for the cowboy armor set that we got you guys will know that i i dumpstered this armor i i gave it so much shit specifically the helmet uh i still hold that it i hate it like when it comes to the like flap on the top you i think it's the helmet as well you you like my first thought is just pinhead larry and i don't know why but it just speaks like that skinny sidekick that you kind of hate that's the that's the like shape of the helmet that i just find they could have done something cool with the helmet i think the hat i can i can like be okay with the hat it's just the helmet i guess uh for the arms we're going to be using the ophidian aspect with the coiled lasso for the chest piece, shadow broker robes, for the boots, thunderhead boots, and then for the bond, light kin bond. So this is one of my favorite sets that I had, so much so that this is the ill-fitting aspect ornament, or the look that I have for the loadout. And it's funny because I did this unintentionally, but the thunderhead boots and the shadow broker robes go so well together because the sides, or not sides, but the uh, the stripes, like that design in front of the boots, you you see that in the chest piece as well. And honestly, this is I would I would honestly say this is like one of my signature looks for sure because it just looks amazing. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming up to this point, warlocks. I'm sorry I could not make any great sets. That mm, I I think. Ah, uh, yeah, no, I can't call any of these great. I mean, aside from the last one, but the last one's not really tactical, technically, even though it is more of a, it's more like a cowboy tactical set, technically, but it's such a, like, it's such a stretch that I can't really in good conscience be like, yeah, this is fine. So, Warlocks, let me know what you guys think. Unfortunately, you guys just did not have a lot of pieces that are tactical, but let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I will see you guys later.